Hello, let's have one of those shops where you kind of go in and you buy some stuff that's notorious for people bodging things. You kind of want to say, I'm not doing that, it's for something else, but they wouldn't believe you if you said it. On the plus side, kind of got a discount, they forgot to scan one of these, so it's made the whole project a little bit cheaper. It's the dash one, it's going to be the dash one. It's quite a few bits to do though. I've got a good dash, my old dash, and I've got a practice dash that my mate Ant gave me. I gave him a bottle of gin for it, so it's paid off. I need to practice something on the old dash, and then do it on the new dash. If you type R32 GTR dash into eBay, you'll see why. Kind of only got one shot at this. So my dash is okay. It's It's got one small air bubble in there though, that I'll, I'll show you in a bit. So I need to try and fix that, which is why I've got this. I've seen someone do something on, on YouTube, just clamping a bit of wood to it to get an air bubble out. I think if I'd, I'd rather try and do it properly. So that's what that's for. Um, what else I need to do is I need to lighten my good dash and cut it for the roll cage front legs. So the cutting for the roll cage bit, I think that'll be all right. The lightening bit is a bit more involved. It involves drilling a lot of holes, and if you drill too far, you just punch through the whole dash. So I've got a couple of tools I, I think I can make. What should we do? First of all, make a soft surface, get my good dash out and start unbolting all of the bits that I don't need from the, from the bottom of it. Right, this is the good one, believe it or not. It's alright actually. I don't know, I never really looked at it much when it was in the car. I just thought, oh, that's pretty nice, but when you get up close to things, suddenly it doesn't appear so rosy, does it? So these look like they're lifting out a tiny bit, but I don't think I can do anything about that. But this, this is the main offender. I mean, it's, it's a lot better than most dashes. Like most of them, you'll see them, it'll be like this and flat up to here. So when you, when you heat this up with a hot air gun, it does go a bit pliable and you can push it into a position. Sometimes it stays there for a bit. After a certain amount of time it moves. How this is made up is it's got this kind of plasticky vinyl layer, but underneath it's foam for like five or 10 mil. And then you've got the plastic back of the dash. So I think what I'm gonna do is make a fiberglass mold of this, build up this bit back with filler so it's the right shape but the inverse of it heat it all up and then clamp the mould into it and then it should mould into the shape that I want it to it's also fixed on the back by the foam and I think it's the breakdown of adhesive that lets it start to do this so what someone does is removes the foam a bit and then sprays some of this into it I mean you know it's going to be sketchy when it involves filler, two packs of fiberglass and a, some expanding foam, don't you? But I thought I'd give it a go. I think if I'm, I make the mould on this one, maybe I'll try just the heating on the really bad one that's mocked up in the car at the moment. Thank you. 
There you go, I've done a few layers on here, and then I put in this bit of wood. There's actually someone who, who's got a, got a skyline as well who works for an F1 team doing composites, so what do you think of this, mate? So I think it's rigid enough that we can, we can take it off, and then any extra bits that I have to do after that, I can just do, and it won't really change shape. So I'm going to try and get it off and see if I've ruined my dash anyway. I guess if I have, we can just stop all this, can't we? I think I got away with that. Not bad, is it? That's the... This is the bulge that I need to fill in, look. So I just, where I put that release agent, it wrinkled up the masking tape a bit. So I think I need to smear the whole lot with filler to smooth out the masking tape bits. Not that it will really make any difference. I don't know, it's not bad. Clean up the edges. It's a bit deathy, isn't it? having an ongoing feud with Mr Shane over who's going to buy propane for the last three weeks and I've just lost. Here you go, this is the practice dash which has been really useful actually, you can see some spoiler alerts on the top of it. Um, but as you can see, it's totally ruined here, and it's more ruined than normal because it was in a, it was in his garden for a bit. So all the foam underneath that normally bonds it, bonds this to the plastic, um, got water in it. So it's completely lifted away everywhere. This dash is always going to go in the bin, but I just want to see if I can heat this up, force this on, clamp it somehow, which I think will be the hardest bit, and then see once it's cooled down if it holds the, the proper shape that we want. Think if I can find a good way of clamping that, that's got some legs in it. Right, I think I'm just going to try and give this a go on the proper one. I think the best way around to do it is to try and get this out before I lighten the back of it. And then it should hold its shape for, you know, a couple of days. And as long as within those days I clamp the form back on and rebond the back of it, it, it might be okay. That went okay. We'll follow that up later on. Let's, um, I need to lighten the back of this a bit, so hold tight. The second time I've used this now, but the first time I've put double the amount of material thickness through it that I should be.
Right, well, I think this is going to be the stupidest part of the whole thing. So what that was for, let me get it. Two of the cars that I know of, so def definitely the blue car, but also I think one of the STP cars had, the whole dash was drilled on the backside, so they got a great big hole saw like this and scattered a load of holes all over the dash and took out the plastic and this foam stuff leaving the vinyl covering which I have had a go at on the practice dash and I only put this drill through twice so that's that's good but I really can't put it through at all on this because I don't really want stickers on my dashboard so that's why I welded that on so it should mean that I mean I'm not going to try and push it through anyway to test it but it should mean I can't go all the way through and then I've got another one so what I do is I, I drill a hole to take the plastic out and then I've got another one that, with my hand I just do that and it takes the foam out it's a little bit it's one of them the other problem is as soon as you do this then there's not much foam holding the vinyl down so it all starts to come out again but we'll just do it and then see what happens when we I'm sure it'll be all right <laughs> I'm not going to bore you with this bit, I just have to really slowly by hand feel that I'm ripping expanding foam and not front vinyl. And then once you've got a little bit done, easy as that right? See you in about three days. Right the holes are drilled and I've cut all the foam out the back. I've just clamped my jig where I want it to be and I'm going to heat it up from the bottom, hope that it goes soft and then crimp all these handles and hopefully it will really force it into the shape I want it to be. I don't think I'm going to talk through this bit because I can. I think it's going to get quite stressful the next next few minutes. Um, I've, I've also taken some foam out the back under where the, under where the bubble is. I just used one of these scrapers. You can get these off Shane if you need them. And then I'm going to get this massive tube of PU adhesive and squirt it in the back of there and hope that it doesn't just blow the whole dash to bits so this will be good That's got an hour in it. Oh right, it's been an hour, shall we see? Don't want to count my horses till they hatch, but it's looking pretty good. So that's a bubbleless dash. I mean, it's only just come off. Gave it a pull out, left it for ages, it's cooled for ages. I think I've done everything I can in terms of fixing that. If it comes back, whatever. Looks good for now, doesn't it? I guess I can just start cutting it so it goes around the roll hoops. So I've already cut the old one out so it goes around the, the roll hoops there but there's a load of material that I cut in front I kind of want to try and keep it 
so I'm going to do this slightly differently. So just to begin with, I'm going to um, try to cut just the holes that it's going to go through, and then figure out if I can like flap things around to make it look like it's going all the way around the tube. So let's do that. I'm really happy with that actually. As happy as a man with two knives. I'd already cut this, as I said, to fit the roll cage. What I did was I made these dodgy templates that then sit on where the tube goes through and kind of references a few other points and on the dashboard, but it's all very kind of surfacey, so it's relatively high risk. So I've, I've checked it loads of times, I put masking tape on there, look, um, I've drawn where I think the tubes need to go, so now I just need to cut through. I'd say that's several days of measuring well spent. <laughs> right, I've just got two small mistakes to make with the vents, and then we're done. Yeah, they, they changed the vents, they got, I think they just took all the internals out. It's a bit of a shame, but just got to do what they did, didn't you? Right. That's it. That's it for this one. I'm really happy with that. You may notice that one of the little toggle things, I didn't take off the small vent, but I took it off the big one. They didn't do it on the blue car, so I didn't do it. I'll sacrifice the kind of half gram just to be, you know, actually do something properly. So that's good. I've been, it's been, it's been a long time coming, getting this dashboard in. And I, I don't know how much weight that saved, drilling it all out. I didn't, it's not turbo mini, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna weigh all of it. That's quite a niche reference actually, but some people will get it. It's just done so it'll be right and it looks really it looks really good once it once it warms up. 
the vinyl will kind of sag into all of the holes a bit and you can see like a kind of golf ball pattern. I'm still waiting on loads of engine bits. I've got quite a few bits coming from Japan and America and as you can imagine it takes quite a while at the moment. Um, but I have got the bits to get all the doors on and do the manual window winders. It'll be nice, it'll be like, it'll be very car-like, won't it? So, 